welcome to this week's screencast. My name is Alistair Reeds, and following Rachel's guide on making photo montages last week, today I'm going to run through the process of using ThingLink. ThingLink lets you create rich images by embedding text or links, video, audio or more images into a picture. So for a couple of examples, uh, the Washington Post made this guide to events in Syria with some embedded videos. Let's go to the bigger one here. Um, just to give more people more information on the crisis. Forbes added links to their infographic on wealthy philanthropists, including a fantastic duet here between Warren Buffett and John Bon Jovi. Uh, Tim Chester at Rough Guides did this great street-by-street -street movie guide with clips from movies shot in the city. And The Enemy added links and videos to this poster for the Reading and Leeds Festival a few years ago too. So, ThingLink. When First Look Media, the media organisation set up by Piero Midia, launched their first publication, The Intercept, I put together this thing link piece on the journalists involved in the new organisation, or at least the ones that had been announced so far. So the first thing you want to do is log in. I use Twitter, but do what you will. Um, and when you first log in, it will take you to the stream, which is the social side of ThingLink, but we want to go to create. As you can see, you can upload photos from your computer or import them from Facebook, Flickr or from a URL. Um, for the first look piece, I made my own image collecting photos of the journalists I wanted to talk about, so I'm just going to upload that. There we go, I'm going to give it a title and then let's start with Pierre Amidia. Add a tag by clicking on it wherever you want. Uh, you can adjust the size or you can choose your, a different icon. And then add whatever information you have. I've, I've got one already as I wrote the copy before looking into this. Add it in and save the tag and there we go. Um, let's do something a bit different with Glenn. Add the icon again but let's put a video in. So here I'm going to add this film from YouTube when Vice met Glenn Greenwald. Uh, instead of using embed codes and adding it to the HTML, you can just copy the link and add it here with a bit of text like that. The fact that you can't add HTML is a slight downside. Uh, you can't format the text or add hyperlinks, but it depends on how you want to tell your story. Uh, Laura Poitras here is traditionally a filmmaker, so let's include one of her films. Uh, Laura Poitras profiles Walter Binney, who was an, an NSA whistleblower in 2012, just not quite on the same scale as Snowden, and then add that in there. Um, let's do one more, but slightly different this time. Jeremy Scahill here is an investigative journalist, a war reporter, and an author. So for him, let's include this SoundCloud link from The Economist, where he, he was interviewed about his book, Dirty Wars. Uh, again, just add the link in here, add a bit of text, save it, and it's done. You can then share it with your friends to Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, and elsewhere. There's the URL, and then the embed code here. Um, it will stay in ThingLink in the Browse section, but for mine I embedded it in the article here. When it's embedded there are options to share it. Um, you can touch it, which is similar to a like or favourite for the social side. Um, I can edit it because I'm logged in, and there you go. All in all, it's, it's quite simple, but it's an easy way to tell stories in a more visual manner, so give it a go. Thanks for watching the screencast here from journalism.co.uk. I hope it's been helpful and check back next week for another video guide to journalist digital tools.